What is going on, everybody? This is James Krasnerik here with another live podcast of Real Steel Sports on Spreaker Web Radio. I haven't done a segment in a while. I've actually been doing a lot of collaborating with some uh, of my friends on YouTube on certain topics. and I, But I have been following sports. And I will say that it's obviously been the biggest occurrence in sports, arguably since the NBA season ended. And that would be LeBron's decision to return to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Was it the right one, though? In my honest opinion, LeBron James returning to the Cleveland Cavaliers... was not the decision I impact, I uh, believed he would make. I thought for sure he was going to go back to Miami. I still felt that the rift between him and Gilbert and what happened when he left four years ago was the reason why he wouldn't return. But in all honesty, I think for him going back to his hometown, for him and Gilbert to, to make up and mend fences, I thought was the right move for him. Because... He'd given that team and that city so much for the first six, seven years of his career. And then he won his two titles in four years at Miami. And the funny thing is, is that the run he had with the Miami Heat was really incredible. It really was because... Him, Bosch, Wade coming together, three team, three players that are used to being the guys on their teams and changing their games to make sure they win a title is incredible. But I have a couple reasons why LeBron's return to Cleveland was the best decision for him. Number one, it's showing his maturity. If you would have asked LeBron James when he, about a year after, if you would have asked LeBron James after his first year in Miami, would he ever imagine a situation when he returned to Cleveland? He, along with the rest of us in America, would have said, no, there's no way I'm going to be staying with the Heat for the rest of my career. But that was back then. When he made the decision, that was back then when he decided he was going to go to Miami. The fact remains this. LeBron made the best decision for himself. I know he. if you were to give him LeBron, Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, a couple of guys in the Heat, versus LeBron potentially going to the Cavaliers in that roster, over the course of the next seven years, the Heat would win more titles, probably, absolutely. But... It showed the fact that he realizes that this isn't just about basketball anymore and the fact that he's starting to come to the conclusion that, you know, there's more to this than I initially thought and that everybody deserves a second chance. I don't think he would have ever imagined himself doing that at the end of 2013 or 2012. I think he still would have felt he was going to stay in Miami because he won titles. Do I believe losing to the Spurs in the final gave him a bit of humility to return to Cleveland? I don't think it did. I really think that regardless of LeBron's result with the Heat, winning, the, if they'd have beaten the Spurs or lost the Spurs, I still think he would have ultimately ended up going to Cleveland. And the second reason why I got to give LeBron props and say it was the right move was because it shows that his hometown means a lot to him. Because there have been players who have spurned their hometowns in the history of sports to win titles and never gave it much of a second thought once they won their titles. That they felt that winning was everything and they didn't give a shit about anything else. LeBron proved he has still has a big heart by going back to Cleveland. The fact that he gets to play his hometown area, he gets to hang on there for the rest of his career. Because I, I don't see any scenario in which LeBron James plays for any other team but the Cleveland Cavaliers ever again. And the way that I see it, I believe that the Cavs will win two titles with LeBron. I do. I think that this roster he has is better than the roster that he had when he was there the first few times, the first time he went to the finals. But the fact is this, and that 
it's going to be a building process, and I think LeBron realizes it. But what I think he wants is to be around the team in Cleveland again and give that city hope. I think that means more to him. I think if he did that versus if he was coming back hated just, you know, to say he came home, I think he'd take the former. LeBron is a good guy. He is. All this hate that's kind of directed towards him, I don't really know where it's coming from because there I've often gone on, gone, gone from liking him to not liking him throughout the course of the last few years, but I can say that I'm comfortable with him and the Cavaliers winning a title. As long as they don't beat the Spurs in the final, I'm comfortable with him winning a title with the Cavs. Very comfortable. Because Cleveland sports fans are the most long-suffering fans in sports, and they're as deserving of a title as anybody. Just as long as it doesn't encompass the, the Indians beating my Tigers in the ALCS or in the playoffs or beating them out for a playoff berth. And as long as the Browns don't take the Steelers out in the division or have to play them in the playoffs, you get my point. But, like, you know, but then again, I retract what I said about the Browns. I could never, ever want the Browns to win the title. Forget that. That's just still me. You know, it's my stigma. But my point is this. LeBron's decision was correct because it's showing his maturity and it's showing that he actually cares about things. And the fact that winning isn't just the only thing to him anymore. He feels that that tug of being home means more to him. Like, if I had a choice to play for my hometown Steelers or potentially get a chance to win championship after championship by playing with Seattle, I'd, st I'd pick my Steelers in a heartbeat because it's that home thing, that home versus that home versus championship thing. So in the long run, LeBron may have cost himself a couple titles, but I do believe that in the short term, I think his reputation is better. I think it's one of the better sports stories of the year. And I'm honestly happy to say that I'm glad LeBron's going back. Because it's a situation that was a mess for a while. That not a lot of people were sure how it was going to play out. Would he ever play in Cleveland again? I never ever thought at any point, because I remember I was actually at work and I heard on the radio that he was going back to Cleveland. That's how I found out. I did not honestly think at any point he was going to go back to Cleveland. And the reason why was this. The letter to Gilbert I thought was too much of a hurdle to overcome. And it turns out I was wrong. And, and gladly wrong. Because while well, I still think that Dan Gilbert's got some personality flaws... He proved that he's a man, too, by owning up to his mistakes to LeBron and also acting like a man about the whole situation four years ago. I would say that LeBron's decision, in general, was the best one for him. It was not the decision I, decision I thought he would make, but when you're faced with the idea of possibly losing a title but going back to play for your hometown, I think... There are a lot of people in this world that would take that. And I think he made the right decision by doing that. I hope you guys enjoyed this segment. Um, this is a segment that, you know, I wanted to wait a little while before I talked about. I didn't want to go into great detail. But if I do want to add a little more to it, I will say that while the roster the Heat has and the roster that the Cavs have, if you were to take LeBron off of both or put LeBron on both, I think both rosters would still be, Cleveland rosters would be inferior to Miami's, but at the same time, Heat's roster is much older. Cavaliers roster, you've got Irving, Wiggins, and Bennett. And if those three guys along with LeBron all pan out to be good players, if they turn out to be as good as, say, Chris Bosh at maximum, I like the maximum being like as good as they get. I see no reason why Cleveland can't contend for titles. But for him personally, coming home to his place, he made the best move for him, and I'm really happy he did. But that is my segment for that is my segment for now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've just been you know working on some other things right now, some side projects. 
mostly Dragon Ball Z related, but, you know, more or less just trying to get a few things done. But I will also be doing segments on the top 100 of 2014, the NFL list, what I think they got wrong, what I think they got right, and also what they could have done differently. I'll be breaking it down by offense and defense. I'll be doing two segments, and I will probably be starting them tomorrow, if not sooner. So please be sure to stay tuned. But other than that, I still consider it tomorrow, even though it technically is Wednesday. I mean Thursday, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, please be sure to have a good one, guys. Take care.